what you generally want to do here is touch off with a piece of paper. It's difficult because of where I am, it's, it's not level, it wants to roll. Right. But if you put this on, it's right about where you need to be. And you cut a strip of paper, about a half inch, you drop it in there. And it comes down real gently until you can feel the grab, and it'll cut the paper from your hand. Then you know you're two and a half thousandths where you are okay. before you make contact. That works great in most applications, providing the thing is flat and parallel. If it's not flat parallel, then you got to find your your high spot. Right now, I'm just going to go blindly in, which is never a good idea. Because if you hit it too hard, it knocks your wheel out of kilter, and you'll see hopping marks where you have to dress your wheel again. When you dress your wheel again, it changes your zero if you're shooting for a reading. No, no, you, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to be the one right. I'm going to watch what you're doing. I, I got just All right, now. well, you're going to pass the word to the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> you, need a, you need a rhythm. Like, with these jobs here, they're hand fed. I go up and down. Get a real good finish this way. What's the width of your wheel? Well, this wheel here is going to cut on the back side at an odd angle. Okay. I thought it was wider. You can see how thin it is. Yeah. But generally, the wheels are half inch. The majority of what I'm going to be charging. 